Good afternoon. So obviously we just looked at Idris Khan and we created the black and white layered image and we're now going to look at Stephanie Jung who is very very similar however she works in colour so as you can see same photo-ish just a different angle and you get two completely different ideas but the way in which we do it is very very similar. Pardon me. So obviously I've created an image here, well sorry, I've taken an image here of Times Square in New York Centre. So what I'm going to do is unlock that layer and then I'm just going to replicate that layer a few times. So go up to layer 6, 7, whatever you want to do. So you can see in your layers that each one has its own name. You can change those names if you want. However, I just kept going. Alright, so I'm going to change the opacity down to about... 20 same as I did with the it just can and then hold control and press T and as you can see when I move it I've got this ghostly image behind it all right so you can move that however you want you can zoom in so that you can find a specific aspect wherever you want to put it I'm just going to move it slightly up and to the left and then using this which is the blend option I am then just going to change it and try and find one that fits. Okay, the linear band looks pretty cool. Darker colour. Somewhere around here you find your best ones, okay? So I'm just going to stick with the linear band and then I'll leave it there. And then I'll change to layer 5 once again. Change down on that opacity. This one I'm going to go 27. And then hold control, press T, and then you can just move it wherever you want this one. If you look, if I zoom out, look, this one I'm actually going to change the size of it. So I can just have those buildings, those busy buildings, overlapping again, like so. And because it's exactly the same angle, it sticks with the momentum of the image. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change this however I want it. You can see starting to build up quite nicely already and that's only with two layers done so now go on to your next layer again let's just go through it again change your opacity and then when you're on the image hold control press T and then you can move it however you want and then with this one One thing that you will notice, look, just here you can see that harsh line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a rubber, soft round rubber, and then when you go to opacity, just knock that down. And just rub along that line. You see I'm just blending it in. That's a little bit too soft. So you can see there, look, just blending that in. Because it's nice to have the busyness in the center of the image. However, when you go to this edge, it is quite weird looking. So I'm just gonna zoom in there a little bit just to show you how I've done it. You see that? Zoom back out. Yeah, I'm really quite happy with this. All right, so once again, change your opacity. This one's gonna be a bit darker, maybe 40%. And then again, hold control and press T. And then I'm just gonna get that building and put it there. Now I'm looking specifically at that centre building at the minute. The one with all the big screens on. So I'm just going to put it there. Right in the centre. And then that obviously keeps the momentum going through the centre. Press enter. And you can see it's there. And then just change. And uh, just there. So we can just see that centre point coming up. Okay. What's really nice is every time I keep lifting them and turning them and rotating them, I'm dodging all of the people at the bottom. So the busyness of the city itself can still be seen throughout the photo. So again, opacity, control and T, which stands for transform. I'm just going to put that building probably like that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, same as I did with the last example. I'm going to spin it like that and I'm going to have that building actually facing downwards and I'm just going to 
shove it right up to the edge here so it's kind of like in the background you can't really see it you have to kind of make it out for yourself and because it's so thin it adds to the character of the image and the one thing that I would say though you just notice is that that's going to need a trim there because of all those people with the lines on there it's too obvious so what I could do is go onto this brush and rub it like so, so that it's just and then the other ones and just have it blending up so you can see that obviously it is chaos but at the same time ah it's that one no it's not <laughs> I will find it It's going a bit slow today. Okay, that looks a lot better. Alright, I'm actually really pleased with that. So you can see there, that obviously that is a Stephanie Jung style edit of Times Square. So if you compare that one, so that one you can see that they're both very different this is very very busy all the TVs really add to that Stephanie Jung style as well this one here there's a lot of open space here with the blue sky but contrasting to a just cans work it can look really good in your uh, in your portfolio so let's have a look at the the last one that I did this is the Hong Kong one and then another Hong Kong one I just I love all the Asian texts around the Hong Kong street scene, city scenes. And then this one here I did of Petra. You can see that I've changed the style by just keeping that momentum going through the centre and changing the size of the doorway. So obviously there's loads of examples. So please try and get three, four examples. Stick them in your portfolio. And then we're done.